Hey everyone and welcome back to the Newcastle Jets in the AFL Gaming with Priesty and we open up today's episode away from home against Wickham Wanderers and it wouldn't take very long for us to take the lead Archie Lawrence there with a beautiful finish five minutes into the game and it wouldn't take very long for us to double this lead see Carlos Castro CC and dry beautiful run no defender wants to close him down and what a finish on the left peg by the Chilean celebration to boot and I'll tell you what we've had a bit of a rough start to the season as you see here I don't know if there was a bit, a bit of delay when I pressed the square for the sliding challenge, but Jordan O'Doherty has lost his spot in the starting squad. This is a chance for him to try and claim that back, and he gets a straight red card. So, yeah, we had a bit of a slow start to the season, but we're just starting to find a little bit of form here as we've gone down to 10 men, but we would go on the break, and Archie Lawrence with the brace... Look, this kid has absolutely got something about him. Check out that celebration. Absolutely love that. The score would remain 3-0 at half time. But I was a little bit wary, I must admit. You know, I've been 3-0 up before and tossed it away. So with the 10 men, I was really wary. And we see here, with 15 minutes remaining, we can knock the ball around well. And a booming finish by Sam Vokes former Premier League striker at Burnley and check this celebration out 3-0 down played against 10 men and he goes over and grabs the camera and carries on like a right toss pot I tell you what he's straight onto the enemy list and then with five minutes remaining Wickham would make the score 3-2 and would result in a really nervous finish. But you can see me here just knocking the ball around my back line for the last few in-game minutes. And we would come away with the 3-2 win. Really important for us. A Doherty out to spend. You know, it's not the end of the world. You know, he's a really good player, but uh, he's lost his place in the starting side. He's only coming... Off the bench or starting when a few players need a rest for squad rotation. So for him to miss a week isn't the end of the world. As we move into the second game of the episode against Charlton Athletic at home. McDonald Jones Stadium. Absolutely nothing happened in the first half. Score would remain nil or But early into the second half, Archie Lawrence, his third game in... Third, third game. Third goal in the episode so far and he is performing really well like the whole squad like we got off to a bit of a rough start i don't think the results really did us justice but we're starting to find some form here as we see we played over the top lawrence again would fall back to castro cleared up cleared again we just couldn't get that second goal to kill it off but you see here move on into added time and we would get the result 1-0, which is really nice to see. You know, I can't really remember in that game the Addicts really causing us too many problems at all. So I think, you know, for our defensive system, for Jacko in goals, really good result, 1-0. Grounded out, you know, maybe we should have scored more, but, I mean, that's football. The really good thing as it didn't come back to haunt us, as you see here, we've actually pushed our way all up in all the way up into six the final playoff position and this is actually one thing i didn't really do last year so in league two it's three clubs get automatic promotion your first three then there's a playoff between fourth fifth sixth and seventh we'll and now. in league one it's only Two teams get automatic promotion, so first and second, and then there's a playoff between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. As you see, we move into our next game against Cheltenham Town. Archie Lawrence, the one to watch. That's one thing I've really enjoyed so far this season. You know, with a bit of squad depth, 
if a striker or someone isn't playing well, hasn't bagged a goal, will we just replace them? If they haven't scored a few to um, within a few games, you know, we just play them, we replace them, turn them over, and and we they know they need to score. All the pressure's on. They'll lose their spot as Archie just misses the golden touch there. 15 minutes into the game. That would have put us 1-0 ahead. And then McGowan, lose six yards away. You'd, you'd think he would tuck that one home the majority of the time. He gets another chance. He gets cleared off the line. We play it back, and a pretty poor effort goes wide. You see here, just got cleared off the line. But quite clearly, um, it was no goal. And moving forward, 22 minutes into the game, Cheltenham Town here knocking the ball around. Williams here gets around Jerome. <laughs> yeah, it's Jerome. I was calling him Jordan. Poor fella. Get to know your players, Priesty. As Carlos Castro, CC and dry. Oh my word, on the left peg. What a finish! By the Chilean, and we are one nil up just before half time. Here we go on the attack again. CC Dry plays it through to Lawrence, and oh, straight at the keeper. It would have been really nice to double our lead there. As we move into the second half, once again, Cheltenham Town knocking the ball around the box, and oh. When I saw that live, I was like, what was Jacko doing? I probably should have left the replay in the system for this one because that one there copped an absolutely massive deflection. There wasn't too much Jacko could do about it. But with 20 minutes remaining, Olsen, the super sweet after some nice lead-up play, would score what eventually would be the winning goal. And I got to admit, I thought as I sweated that across the face of goal that I'd stuffed it up, we would have one last chance. Nice volley there, actually. The goalie coming up with a good save. As you do see here, the 2 1 win away from home against Cheltenham Town is confirmed. Um. We've actually gone on a nice run here as we move forward to the biggest game of the playthrough so far. The round of 16 in the Carabao Cup away from home at Old Trafford against Manchester United. And have a go at the squad they've picked there. Ronaldo, Royce, De Gea in goal. I think I saw Sancho on there. Verane. It was a really strong lineup. But you know what? I give the second 11. I said it earlier that our second 11 would play the Carabao Cup because I didn't think, you know, it's not a winnable trophy. So we'll just give them a crack each week. Hopefully we'll get a game against a big team later on in the season. And Daining him. What a goal right in front of the Manchester United fans there. Up on the fence. What a celebration. I was absolutely floating on air. And then when we doubled the lead, I was starting to dream big. And anyone watching this would be like, as if the Jets here could beat Manchester United. And you know what? In real life, that is absolutely true. True as you see Ronaldo there. What a finish. Hits us with the full-blown celebration. And I tell you what, I wasn't happy about that, mate. Honestly. Who do you think he is? But in-game, it almost prefer to play against a big club because you play in League One and it's, they drop nine defenders, ten defenders behind the ball. so hard to break the teams down. But when you're playing against a team that's supposed to beat you, it's just a lot easier. In my humble opinion, you see Marco Royce there. What a goal. I know I made a bit of fun about Manchester United signing him in the January transfer window last season. He runs over to Ollie and says, I just saved your job. I don't think anyone can save Ollie's job after what happened to them on the weekend against Liverpool. As you see here, and I thought that was our chance. That was our chance there to win it. Manchester United would go down the other end and find the winner or would lose in a penalty shootout. And you see here, 
knocking the ball well, but the last chance would fall to the Jets, wouldn't you know it? Cantorossi on the left peg from outside the box. Thomas, eat your words. Manchester United, eat your words. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, eat your words. The boys from Newcastle have just knocked the Red Devils out of the Carabao Cup. And i got to tell you, those finesse shots are still just absolutely ridiculous. I thought they were supposed to patch them. But anyway, we'll take the result, knocking the Red Devils out of the Carabao Cup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.